Let's make a deal. Bitch, be for real. Is you up for pill? Okay. Let's make a deal. Rumpel still skin. She wanna see my purple pickle up in the wind. Okay. <laughs> Not Sefa, not Sifa, not Sophia, not Safia. Don't call me Safia, okay? Call me Sifa. So today is a real special day. So today is the LSU versus um LSU versus Southern, okay? If you're not from Louisiana or you're not from the South or like you don't know anything about these two schools, these schools like okay basically let me tell you why this game is so historical and so monumental and why everybody's making a big deal about this game right so um, louisiana really prides themselves in football just like texas so that part i understand and louisiana and baron rouge are like in the same city like literally like neighbors like 20 minutes down the road we not rivals because we not in the same conference we're a power five school and they're at NAIA school. So we already know, first off, we winning. <laughs> For sure we winning. We blowing them niggas out the water, bro. Look. See, you do you really think you're finna sit here and think that Southern gonna be at this year? Come on, be for real. Be so for real, bro. Be so for real. But no, it's a really big game because both schools they go crazy for tailgates. So just imagine you got Southern you got LSU tailgates and just put that together bro I saw a post that said over 200,000 200,000 people pretty, pretty on it I'm pretty sure the whole city is gonna be on campus today the whole city hell I know Texas and Texas gonna be here the mothers from New Orleans gonna be here it's folks that don't even go to school in Baton Rouge that's gonna be here so this is a big game we're basically a part of history and yeah so what i'm gonna do is i already got my outfit together i need just need to do my hair so yeah <sighs> bro i plucked the plug out the wig hold on y'all like i really plucked the wig like really well i really went in on this wig bro i was not playing i was not playing Okay. At first, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do the straight, cause I like how I look with curls. But I mean, like looking at it, it look it look fine, you know. It look fine like this. So I think I'll just like sell it for a straight. And look how deep this part is. That was like seven inches deep. Come on now. <clears throat> yeah, it's like seven inches deep. And it's a synthetic wig. But I don't know, I feel like, I feel like straight hair, it look boring. I guess it look boring on me. Like I gotta have some type of curl, so I don't know. It look boring. It look boring. Mm. I feel like I gotta have some type of curls. But we'll see right now. It's 11.47. By Rube is getting her lashes done, and when she come back, she gonna get ready, and that's when we are gonna leave. So I got a good. It's gonna take me about like probably like an hour. I'm gonna rush it, and I'm gonna do 45 minutes to install this wig. Bro, look this part. This part is amazing. But I'm gonna take. Oh, originally, originally I was supposed to have crimps, but the crimp iron that I have is from 2007. And it was given 2007 crimps. It wasn't given 2020, 2022 crimps. <laughs> it wasn't given 20, okay. It wasn't given 2022 crimps. It was given 2007 crimps. Like, if you know what I mean. Like, it wasn't like given the crimp that I wanted to, 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 to crimp. So I just said, forget it, let's just straighten it. I think I'm gonna just do like long curls maybe. 
I don't know because I just don't want my hair to look boring. Like straight hair looks so boring on me. I don't even like to straighten my real hair. I'd rather just have like my natural hair and like, I don't know. That's definitely why I don't do silk presses because it just looks boring. I don't know how to explain it, it just looks boring. It's cute though, but a little boring on me. I'm in love, bro. I don't know. I definitely, hopefully I can curl this hair in like 30 minutes. That's wishful thinking. And then my nail had the nerve to pop off when I got out the shower. So I gotta remind myself to glue the nail on. That has to be the last thing I do, glue the nail on. But in the meantime, in between time, what's stiff? Synthetic hair, what's stiff? Ooh, what's stiff? In the meantime, in between time, let's install this wig. And I know it may seem like I just installed a wig last week, but that wig was like in that last uh in the, in the previous video, that wig was like three weeks old. <laughs> in the uh getting ready for me for a college, preparing for me for college wig. Yeah, that wig is done for. Like, she's done. If she wanna wear it again, it has to be revamped. There's no way I was gonna wear that wig to the game. Hell no, bro. And I'm gonna take pictures too. And like I said, this is a monumental historical game. I'm gonna tell my kids, 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 kids about this game, okay? Like, I'm so glad I went to LSU because I'm basically a part of history. Like, girl, we a part of history. You a part of history. We a part of history together. Cause you watching the video, so you a part of history. Yeah. So you can tell your kids, 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 kids about this too. Boy, my kids gonna be mad at me when I be telling them these stories. They gonna be like, Mom, you gonna tell us about this energy versus Southern game again? Yes, I'm gonna tell you about this game again. <laughs> we gonna be bit tonight, bro. I tip. <laughs> Let me install this wig. I'm tripping. in my head. 
Okay, so my lace is melting, right? And like, I'm sitting here looking at like the hair and I just feel like it would look so much better if it was curled. Let me put it up against my outfit. Okay, so this is the top that I cut up, right? That you saw that I cut up. Or did I, have I inserted that in the video yet? I don't know what part of the video I'm gonna insert me cutting up the shirt. But it's the shirt, right? And this is like the hair. I don't know, like, do you see the vision? I think I gotta curl my hair. I got to. I got to. <sighs> Straight hair just doesn't do it for me. It just doesn't do it for me. Unless it's like a bold. Unless it's like a 613. And it's bust motherfucking down. And it's touching my ass. That's probably like the only time I'll probably wear like straight hair for real. Cause this is just so basic. And like, I don't, I'm not putting on makeup. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to do lashes. I'm gonna try to attempt to do the lashes again, but I got the clusters. But I don't know, it just, it doesn't give like, oh, you know what I'm saying? It don't give that. So I think I might curl the hair while the good old lace is uh, melting. We got to, cause I don't know, I just can't do it straight here. But I think this is gonna be like my last time wearing a wig for like, I'm not gonna put on a wig. This is gonna be the last time I put on a wig. Only the next time I put on a wig is gonna be for my birthday. I just feel like I just been putting on a wig since, since like May. May? No, since like April. What hairstyle did I have back in March? Since February, since Mardi Gras, since Mardi Gras, I just put it on wigs, and then during the summertime, like I wouldn't really go. I, I rarely go out. If it was a time where I was just like hanging out with my friends or whatever, I would just throw on um like a wig real quick and then toss it at the end of the day because like I really I did not go anywhere this summer, and like the only time I did my hair for real was for my uh bathing suit photo shoot. I think I'm gonna give the wigs a rest. Only because my ear, like my industrial piercing, it has a big bump. And that's because of the band. Like the band, it folds my ear down. Like you see how it's folded? It folds my ear down and it makes a bump. Because the bar is pushing out on my ear. That shit look nasty. And like, I don't like that. So I'm going to just give it time to heal. And like, stay away from wigs. So I don't got to put this tight ass band on every night and then on top of that i feel like wigs they're not giving me like the wow like it like how it used to you know what i'm saying because like you know how you like you do something too much and like the wow factor is just it just goes down you know what i'm saying so i want y'all to be wow for my birthday november 10th okay big scorpio i want y'all to be wow for my birthday what's today september october my birthday is two months really i know i did three but it's in two months i think this this little two month break away from wigs is gonna be good for me i'll try to do like some cute little styles like braids but that takes too long that's the thing like wigs be so boom 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 straight to the point you're done but like braids and locks they be taking me days like i gotta take the whole weekend off to do my hair especially because i love long braids and long locks and that's time consuming. That's so time consuming. But yeah, is this hot already? Barely. I feel like the curls is really gonna give. I just hope the, right now, it's 12.42. We started installing this wig at 12.09. So we're good on the on the installation time. It took less than an hour. But um, curling the hair is gonna take a little minute. My, my, my room, I can't speak. My roommate's still at her lash appointment. I think it's been about like two, three hours. She probably on the way right now. By the time she get back, more than likely I'm gonna be done like styling the hair and we're gonna be good to go. And then we're just gonna get dressed. Bro, Sports Center has been, I mean, not Sports Center, ESPN has been blowing up my phone. Like, girl. And it be about dumb stuff. Like, the other day, I got a uh, notification from ESPN. And it was, it was about like some dumb stuff that, that you don't even care about. It was talking about somehow Dak Prescott left practice early. Do I care? No, I, I, I need to find a way to like try to customize the alert so it don't be sending me bull.
like every five minutes. Is it hot yet? All right, it's pretty warm. We could go ahead and start curling the hair then. Yes. I don't know, like the straight hair, it is not giving. No, it's not giving. But I know what is giving, this bust out motherfucking part. This seven inch part, this seven inch part. Big part, not the little one. Oh, yeah. And these baby hairs gonna be baby hairing. And I plucked the mess out of this weed too. Oh, boy, I tell you. Ah. We gonna look so fly. So motherfucking fly, okay? Yeah, yeah, big fly. Yeah. Look me. I'll see the same, so you're my favorite mistake. That's why we gotta keep it on.
That's just crazy. It ain't even been a minute. a little rundown of everything that went on where do i even start okay let's start from maybe the beginning yeah can you start from maybe the beginning okay so boom right last thing you saw me do was my hair i curled my hair right boom 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 y'all didn't see me curl my hair because it was we was on like a time crunch low-key because by the time i started curling my hair my woman had came back right and it was like okay i got like 30 minutes to like you know finish up the finishing touches so that's what i did off camera i curled my hair clearly i don't have the same wig on because i like change my wig like every other day type shit but boom 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 curl my hair uh by the time i finished curling my hair i had like two or three strands left my other roommate she called an uber so we could uber it to campus by the time the uber came it was by the time i was done with my hair the uber was already here so it was like okay bet i'm done with my hair no time to diddle, uh, dibble dabble, dilly dally. Um, I didn't really put my, I didn't like you see, like I said, I didn't put my nail back on. Like, like all the nails are off, and I didn't get to do my lashes, which is not a big deal. Like going on an, a broken nail and putting lashes it was not that big of a deal to me, as long as my hair 
was good. We're great. If my hair is good, then we're great. You know, the hair it came out all right. It was better than it looked. I feel like it definitely did look better curled than straight. Cause I don't know. I feel like curled hair flatters me more than straight hair. But yeah. So boom, you know what I'm saying? We get in an Uber, pull up to the tailgate, right? Mind you, Southern, the Southern versus LSU game traffic was out the ass. Like it was so jam-packed literally everybody coming from all different directions any direction that you could possibly think of trying to come onto lsu campus they they all jam-packed so we ended up getting out the uber and then walking to the unity field which was where like the main um tailgate where everybody and their mom was gonna be at it was some people at the parade grounds but like if you wanted to see like black people like it was niggas everywhere okay listen it was everywhere everywhere okay everywhere but no like um it was some people at the parade grounds but that's where like a lot of like you know people were at but the cabs were there too so like you know you got to see a little bit of brown and black people and stuff but when we went to the unity field it was jam-packed like oh my god like everybody everywhere left and right like bro when i tell you the tailgate was so big like it was just so huge like it was just so big and like really big like it was so big like it was huge like it was so massive like it was just a lot and like if it got any bigger it would have been dangerous We still talk about the tailgate, right? Yeah. Mind you, we didn't leave the crib till two, and we didn't get there to the uni field till like three-ish, something like that. So mind you, like the tailgate starts at twelve, right? The tailgate starts at twelve, kick off at five, kick off at six thirty, and it's three o'clock. We get there at three o'clock, so it's three more hours left. Let me tell you all the food, all the chicken, the cues was frying. All the liquor was gone. Like we didn't have nothing to eat, nothing to drink. Just heat and vibes, basically heat and vibes. But it's so good. We had a, I I had a good time. I had a great time. I didn't really like you know drink and stuff. Like I stayed sober the whole entire day, the whole entire weekend. I stayed sober and I had fun. That's how I know like it was very genuine. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it was genuine fun because like if you need alcohol to get to be like to have fun and it's not fun for real. So yeah, you know what I'm saying? And then you know me and my roommate we walking around, walking around, stuff like that. 6.30 rolls around, game starts. So you know, <laughs> I'm not gonna incriminate myself, but <laughs> I didn't have a ticket, right? But I mean, You know me, I'm just that girl. Like, I make it shake for real. I make it shake. But you know me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. So, boom, right? You know, the game's happening. The game was fun. I mean, the game was very predictable. I wish it was kind of like a neck and neck type of thing, but it's Southern University versus LSU. It's not, never going to be neck and neck. And mind you, Southern only scored twice. That was only because of a pick six, I think. And then I think it was like the defensive back's fault that somebody scored a touchdown. See, instead of trying to get interceptions and shit, you know, I understand you be trying to boost up your stats and shit, but like, come on now, DBs. Just scored on you, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. You'll get them next time. Boom, boom, boom. Fourth quarter rolls around, and my roommate calls an Uber, right? So, mind you, we call the Uber. It's like almost it's the beginning of the fourth quarter, so it's like 9 40 something, right? Tell me why we did not get into our Uber until midnight 12, babe. 12. 12. The reason why we didn't get into our Uber until 11, 12 was actually, no, we didn't get, okay. Called Uber at 9.45, didn't get inside Uber till 11. Didn't get back home till 1 a.m. Yeah, mm-hmm. So it took us 9, 10, 11, 12, 1 a.m. It took us five hours to get home. 
Mind you, we live eight minutes across the street. Yeah, that's how jam-packed the traffic was. So our Uber, we trying to locate the Uber, right? Uber can't come to the stadium or can't come to where the tiger habitat is, where the tiger be chilling and shit. Well, that's originally where we gonna meet the person. But <clears throat> we ended up having to walk to him right we haven't been having to walk to this uh to a building what's the building called never mind the building name not even important but it was like a 11 17 minute walk so we get the closest to him so he could drive to so he could drive to us without traffic right and then mind you we didn't get there we 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 got to the stop right where we were supposed to where we were trying to meet the uber ass so he didn't have to drive that far in traffic we ended up getting to the spot and then probably like 30 minutes later still waiting for the uber still stuck in traffic time passes low and behold the man shows up right boom boom we in the uber we riding mind you i have a kicking mind green okay because of the stadium lights and like i i didn't get a migraine until i started yelling at the game like you could tell i was so freaking hyped for no reason no actually it was the reason why i was hyped because i was having a good time but i was so hyped at the game i was just screaming and yelling at the top of my lungs and you know with the stadium lights they blinding like literally blinding lights and i started to get a migraine so this whole time we walking a uh, car light blinding me just increasing the, the migraine that i had it was crazy Oh, I was so glad. This is why I was so glad I wasn't drinking because if I was, you know, not sober, I would have been hella pissed. For just hella pissed because, you know, you have to imagine being drunk with a headache, drunk, having to walk. Oh, I didn't even get to the walking part. I didn't even get to the real walking part yet. So we in the Uber, right? And we're sitting in standstill traffic, right? For about a good hour. We're in the Uber just for an hour. Just in the hour, just sitting on top of traffic. Main reason why it's traffic is because the freaking police department, it's not even LSU PD, this is BRPD. You got uh, random police officers that don't even patrol Baton Rouge and outer cities coming to patrol BR because they're gonna shut down the city for real. They shut down damn near all the freaking every path basically every path leading to home was shut closed so we was the uber driver was trying to try to you know maneuver trying to find his way around every way is blocked so you know eventually an hour 30 minutes passes we just say forget it our house is down the street let's hop out and walk so boom 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 you know what i'm saying we get us something to eat because mind you we didn't eat anything all day like I said, it was just heat and vibes. You know what I'm saying? Stop by the gas station, get us something to eat, boom, start walking. 17 minute walk. And mind you, it was about 12 pushing one. So four girls walking in the middle of the night in Baton Rouge where crime is crazy. Okay, yeah. It, it, it's a nothing but God for us to get home, for real. Why oh, you have to close off all the roads? Especially all the roads for us to get back to the to the crib so then we make it back home you know finally and you know we just chill like that was, took a shower and hit the bed really that's what i did it was no way we were gonna go to an after party because one we were exhausted and even if we wasn't exhausted how are we gonna go they blocked up all the roads every road was blocked it was damn near almost impossible for us to even go out to an after party and it was already 1 a.m and places don't really close till two now. So yeah, honestly, we probably should have left after Southern University's band performed because that's when everybody started leaving for real. They started leaving uh, after halftime. You know, we stayed to the end of the game. It was fun. I had fun and that was that. I really expected a bigger turn up, but you know, it was fun. I had good fun, sober fun, but yeah. If you enjoyed this video, which I know you did because you made it to the end, be sure to like, give me a little comment, and subscribe because why would you not want to subscribe like you a hater it's giving hate why are you giving hate come on now give love why hate when you could love and you could like the video and subscribe it don't cost you none but a thing for real for real but bye subscribe because i'm gonna be posting more lsu lsu content i guess i'm gonna try no let me not even say that because every time I say I'm going to do something regards as regards to YouTube, it, it never happens. So, 
just act like I didn't say I was gonna post LSU content because I don't want to jinx myself. But anyways, bye.